what's up? Get out of here. Somebody in the comments on the TikTok said, hey, if you've reacted to the Venom 2 trailer. So, might as well, you know? Because somebody asks for it, might as well do it. Unless, I think you get what I'm saying. So, let's do it. Venom 2 trailer. You're going to watch it. Like, subscribe, comment what you want me to do. Gaming, reacting, you know, all the, all the jazz. So let's go. <laughs> Rules, no eating people. I remember that from the first one. The chickens. I say either. You yeah, say either. I say neither. And I say neither. I'm singing, bro. Either. Oh, Jesus. Neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Excuse me. Bruh. Yummy. Disgusting. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Function hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. I like that little hey. I've been thinking about you, Eddie. I noticed that it's playing two can be as bad as one. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Spider. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. I miss you so much. Oh, what's going on? <sighs> come chaos. Biggest mistake they ever made. Now they all dead. Oh Jesus. Chaos. Soon come. Can't do we get to see him? Oh, there the boy is. Let there be carnage. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, Bruh. you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. Wow. All right. <coughs> Cough. But um, the trailer looks good. Not gonna lie, the first movie I wasn't a big fan of. I, I don't know why. I have a tendency to dislike movies sometimes. I don't know why I critique them so much. I'm not even, I don't even think I'm a good critic. I just think that I take, I take movies too harshly. I'm too realistic sometimes. And I'm, I think I'm too into story and stuff. But this Venom, the first Venom, I wasn't that big of a fan of. It was more meh. The trail, but I like, I was still into it. You know, I, I, I still had fun watching it, I guess. So... I wouldn't say I, I I'm a little excited for the second one specifically because it has one of my favorite characters Carnage in it and I, I just love Carnage and I'm pretty excited to see him on the big screen live action so I'm excited for that and I'm waiting for when Spider-Man just comes in if they ever add him I don't know if they're going for uh, this is mainly Venom's verse this isn't like a big Spider-Man thing uh, they might go for that they might merge with MCU I don't know but hey, I'm all down for just Venom protag only. I'm fine with that. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be a, a, a bunch of different heroes in it too. It looked like it was showing off different test subjects, potentially with other powers. So maybe they'll flex that. Maybe we'll have some more Marvel characters joining in into this Venom verse. I don't know if they're doing a Venom verse. Maybe maybe this will be like a Sam Raimi slash Amazing Spider-Man situation where they're two and done, three and done. Who knows? So, I'm pretty excited for it. I can't wait for it to come out. I'll definitely be watching it. Will I watch it in theaters? Maybe. Am I most likely going to bootleg it off a website? Probably. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't really have much to say about it. I don't really know what I'm... I don't really know what to say. It's like, it's just kind of there. It's like, 
that's how I feel about Ven about the Venom movie anyway. It's just kind of there. It's just kind of a like I feel like for me, I, I the first Venom I didn't really get too much into the story. It was kind of just like I feel like that's kind of a thing with stories that have just been that have just been expressed already, or some characters that haven't had too big of a spotlight in terms of movies at least. But like everybody know almost like pretty much everybody knows Venom, and we've seen him a bunch. So it's just like when you make a movie about him, that follows a kind of subpar story it kind of i feel like it kind of flops the movie i feel like it's kind of the same thing with i feel like that's a big reason why the mcu spider-man in, in some people's eyes is one of the worst or is the worst spider-man iteration in terms of live action me personally i think it's the it's the amazing spider-man but a lot of people dislike uh, tom Holland's version because because it's just like you know we've seen the story we've seen the story so many times that that's what we've come accustomed to and then you have them changing things up a bit and when you ch and like they changed quite a bit to the point where people see it as a bad thing where it's like you know they don't talk about uncle ben as much they kind of swapped uncle ben with tony stark so it's just like people don't feel too good about that or it just kind of goes under the rug and people aren't invested in the story as much which is the same thing i feel with venom we've seen the story a lot we've seen better iterations of the story but we've seen better iterations of the character maybe not in terms of live action but in other forms of media we've seen a better version of venom at least for me so it's like this one it, like it just comes off subpar this is my opinion the movie for me was subpar the first one it was more meh it was more just a fun watch i guess but doesn't mean i can't enjoy the second one so i'll watch it and this one has carnage one of my favorite characters so maybe I'll, maybe i'll be a little bit biased but um yeah that's pretty much all i got that's pretty much all i got for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it hit the like button subscribe share video with a friend and i'll see you in the next video about anything peace out my lovely bagels